a shame you can't stay on. <coughs> Elliot, mm. I've gone slightly out on a limb and I'm hoping I can rely on your support. What for? I've twisted Tara's arm into seeing if she can't stay on for a bit. I'm offering her a temporary contract. Oh, right. Uh, right. Um, what has? An associate CT specialist. For three months. That way I can skirt around the board. Mm -hmm. Tara can act as a consultant, but she would, of course, need someone to refer to. Yes. Well, uh, I mean, uh, that could be me. You could. I mean, you work so well together. Yes. Um, does Connie know? Not yet. And uh, what would be your reason exactly? My cardiothoracic surgeons are working so hard at the moment. Yes, well, I mean, uh, I've got no registrar today. Tara could assist you? Yes. But first she's doing something for me. Great. Great. Yeah. Morning. Our mortality rate's improved. I thought this was a good idea. It's great. Mortality rates have dropped throughout the NHS, not yes. just here. And the board, in their infinite wisdom, see it differently. They've passed a vote of thanks. To him? Yes. And they're inviting the heads of the department to support it. They think zero tolerance has made a big contribution. Yeah, well, I don't, I don't agree with that. Yes, but it's spreading. And it's put Rick in the public eye. And it's a photo opportunity. Donald Jackson's father was caught drinking alcohol. Rick Griffin still Donald goes ahead with the very risky... Play politics with that case. Donald Jackson's one of ours. That's off-limits. Rick is back in the running to remain in the post, whether you like it or not. What's Tara still doing here? I thought she was leaving. Yeah, I need to talk to you about that. Excuse me. You thought it was OK for this guy to be DNR, but you knew nothing about his background. You let him play you. No. Well, he's not going to bully Tara, and he's certainly not going to bully me. I need to go over some details yes, with and you. I have asked you to wait. Thank you. I just want to hear it from you, Elliot. Did you obey the patient's wishes? Technically, I did, but... Technically, OK. Well, if he wants to fight, he's got one. The day I let a surgeon be struck off for saving a life, we might as well all lie down and die. I must insist... Yes, I'm sure. I think, uh, as I say, you know, that she's um, perfect for the job, really. Tara, I uh, have your contract in my office. All it needs is your signature. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jane. My pleasure. Rick. Connie will not be managed. How can she expect to manage others? I want her told. She will be. If she's still in the running for director of surgery by the end of play, I'll be very surprised and disappointed. I can't force her to quit. Well, what would keep her in it? Can you name one thing? You make one rule for her, another for yourself. You got away with it, she didn't. Be content with that. No doubt you want to tell me how stupid I've been. It wasn't stupid. It was stupid three hours ago, then it turned into something else. Sure, Lyndon, step down. Maybe I should just do the same too and leave Rick to it. 